Hello beautiful friends my name is Brittany welcome back or welcome to rescues and reads and happy new year happy 2023 if you are watching this video on the day that it is posted it is the very first day of the new year a new year that is full of possibilities I hope that 2023 is fantastic for you that you had a wonderful time celebrating with friends and family and that you are as excited about what is to come in 2023 as I am now that we are in the new year that means all sorts of 2022 wrap-up videos are coming your way I do plan on doing a couple including the one I'm filming today as well as the best and worst of 2022. If you can think of any other wrap-up style videos you would like for me to consider doing for the 2022 year, please feel free to comment down below and let me know. Today I plan on running through very quickly all of the books that I read in 2022. Now of course I won't be talking details about any of these books. I won't be saying what they're about, my rating, or anything like that. I will literally just be showing the book, saying the title, and the author. However, a lot of the books that I'm showing here today I did write reviews on on Goodreads, so if you are ever interested in seeing more of my in-depth thoughts, please feel free to check out my Goodreads link down below in the description. That is the best place aside from here that you will be able to see all of my thoughts on the books that I've read and without further ado we are just going to jump right into it now if you ever see like the angles change or my positioning change that's because I'm going to be getting up and down selecting books throughout the entirety of this video there are a lot of them so that will be the reason for that let's go ahead and get started The Seven Sisters by Lucinda Riley Where They Found Her by Kimberly McCrate Twisted Love by Anna Huang A History of Wild Places by Shay Earnshaw Four Winds by Kristen Hanna Behind Every Lie by Christina McDonald The Dragonette Prophecy by by Twee T. Sutherland. Broken Girls by Simone St. James. Night Road by Kristen Hanna. The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. Force of Nature by Jane Harper. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. The Night She Disappeared by Lisa Jewell. Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. Steadfast by Serena Bowen. One by One by Ruth Ware. In My Dreams I Hold a Knife by Ashley Winstead. The Butterfly Collector by Dot Hutchinson. The Life We Bury by Alan Eskins. Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins. The Maid by Nita Prose. Pieces of Her by Karen Slaughter. The Night Swim by Megan Golden. In an Instant by Suzanne Redfern. A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. The Guest List by Lucy Foley. All These Beautiful Strangers by Elizabeth Clefoth. Lucky by Marissa Stapley. I Found You by Lisa Jewell. Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. Such a Quiet Place by Megan Miranda. The Butcher by Jennifer Hillier. The Girl He Used to Know by Tracy Garvis Graves. The Room on Rue Amelie by Kristen Harmel. Not a Happy Family by Sherry Lapina. The People We Keep by Allison Larkin. We Are the Brennans by Tracy Lange. The Maidens by Alex Michaelides. Before the Devil Breaks You by Liv Bray. The Reckless Oath We Made by Bryn Greenwood. The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. Tell Me Everything by Erica Krauss. Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. First Born by Will Dean. The Heart Principle by Helen Huang. The Overnight Guest by Heather Gutenkoff. The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. A Killer's Wife by Victor Methos. The Neon Lawyer by Victor Methos. The Collective by Allison Galen. Razorblade Tears by S.A. Cosby. The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. Radium Girls by Kate Moore. Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alex Feeney. Breathless by Amy McCulloch. Girl Forgotten by Karen Slaughter. Far From the Tree by Robin Benway. Cop Town by Karen Slaughter. Keepsake by Serena Bowen. It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren. Things We Do in the Dark by Jennifer Hillier. The Escape Room by Megan Golden. The Doctor by Nikki Sloan. The Defense by Steve Cavanaugh. The Lost Girls of Willowbrook by Ellen Marie Wiseman. Defy the Night by Bridget Kemmerer. Big Lies in a Small Town by Diane Chamberlain. As Good as Dead by Holly Jackson. The Plea by Steve Cavanaugh. A Faint Cold Fear by Karen Slaughter. The Golden Couple by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pacanon. You by Caroline Kepnes. Magnolia Palace by Fiona Davis. Love on the Brain by Allie Hazel. All Good People Here by Ashley Flowers. Beach Read by Emily Henry. Blood Sugar by Sasha Rothschild. An Unwanted Guest by Sherry Lapina. Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus. Every Last Secret by A.R. Tori. A Solitude of Wolverines by Alice Henderson. Shiver by Allie Reynolds. The Dilemma by B.A. Paris. Remarkably Bright Creatures by Shelby Van Pelt. Good Night Beautiful by Amy Malloy. The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendricks. The Replacement Wife by Darby Kane. Find Me by Alifair Burke. The Last to Vanish by Megan Miranda. Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. Unspeakable Things by Jess Lurie. Indelible by Karen Slaughter. The Sound of Rain by Greg Olson. A Bridge Across the Ocean by Susan Meisner. Bountiful by Serena Bowen. Finley Donovan is Killing It by El Casamano. Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. Kiss Her Once For Me by Allison Cochran. Before She Was Found by Heather Gutenkoff. Someone We Know by Sherry Lapina. And the very final book that I read in 2022, The Rewind by Allison Wynne Scotch. All right, y'all, that is it. Those are all the books that I read in 2022. I believe the final count was 109, which is great because my goal was 100 and my goal will once again be 100 in 2023. Please comment down below and let me know how many books you ended up reading in 2022 and please let me know if you read any of the books that I read and which ones you enjoyed and which ones you didn't and as always if you like this video or if you just like me please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because I would sure love to see you in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.